corner. The WBC featherweight champion of the world. He fights out of Santiago Tiemcastango, Mexico. He weighs 126 pounds. Here is the very popular Salvador Sanchez. 15 rounds of boxing. Carlos Padilla, who has called many a championship Luis, fight here. Seconds. We listen to what he has to say. Chip seconds. Chip seconds. Who is the chip seconds? Manager. Principal. A bit of confusion over who the chief seconds are for Carlos Padilla. He wants to know exactly who the official and uh, top man in each corner is. Who is the chip seconds? Chip seconds. Yeah. Call, call, call the chip call. seconds. Chip seconds. to know exactly who is in charge in that corner in case for any reason they were going to stop it although the corner really can't stop a championship fight can it the corner cannot stop a championship fight unless they have changed the rules for this one <laughs> they're definitely not changing the rules larry that's for sure well he's asking for the chief seconds i don't know why the he wants to know who's in control of the corners for sure in case he okay may want to take something off the face or whatever let's get Avoid using any kind well, of Well, maybe call. again, Don't they might have a little bit too many people in the okay. corner and they want to be able to control the corner. So uh, he want to find out who's the chief second so he can get the people going to be long in the corner out of there. Uh, Carlos Padilla is showing that he's going to be the boss of this one because the spirits are extremely high. The WBC World Featherweight Championship, the Battle of the Little Giants, is just about to begin. You're looking at Salvador Sanchez. He'll be taking on Wilfredo Gomez. Here we go. Round one. And it's exciting. Sanchez in the blue trunks and Gomez in the red, white, and blue. One thing I like to say, a lot of people don't think uh, Gomez can do any boxing, but I see Gomez boxing. This is what he's coming out doing now. So he can box in the punch, and it's, it's going to be a very interesting fight. That's right. He's a very, very clever boxer, too, besides the fact that he can really punch. Again, we repeat the record of Wilfredo Gomez. 32 professional fights, 32 knockouts. Very first one, he did have a draw of 30, 32 0 and 1 is his actual record. 32 knockouts. What makes this fight so interesting is both of these fighters have been there. They both have the champion for a number of fights, and uh, they both represented their country. This is what makes this fight so interesting. Another fact that we point out, don't forget that Gomez is a former world super bantamweight champion. He gave up that title because of making the weight to move up to this weight classification. Go right to the left. Surprise left hook again. Right. I, didn't, I didn't see the punch. I must have been a quick punch. I thought he slipped. But Sanchez was hurting then to turn around here, Gomez. Gomez is in trouble. Gomez is in trouble. Gomez is in trouble. Gomez got the fight. Gomez is in big trouble. He's in big trouble. He, he's he's holding it. To go. He got the hold. Thank 
Sanchez is teeing up on Gomez. He's holding on. But Gomez still got that big savage holding on. And we're not trying to get his head clear. But if he can hold on to the guy, he might be able to survive it. But I don't see no way that Gomez is able to survive this. Survive the round. It's a miracle, Larry, that he gets through that round. A miracle he gets through the round. It's a miracle to get through the round. It'll be a miracle for Gomez to come back this round. We got to see how much that, that round took out of Gomez. Again, his corner is working very hard on it, but I don't see any chance for Gomez. But Sanchez is ready, he's confident, and he's going to go out there and try to take him out. Carlos Palomino, I know you're shocked by that first round. I, I am. I didn't expect uh, Sal Sanchez to, to, to have that kind of power, but he hurt him with a left hook right there, I think it was the beginning of it. And then I uh, came back with that one and hurt him bad. It was actually the right hand that cut him first that and was, then a the little left. Yeah, it was the upper Again, that left hook looked like it didn't hurt him. It was kind of an upper, upper cut left hook. And, uh, oh, really surprising. And the ball was definitely hurt. It still, it still hurt. It still, it still very safe. Hey, right 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 and uh, tie this guy up. Sanchez is absolutely fresh, and Gomez is still kind of staggering and, and glassy-eyed. Yeah, well, Sanchez is, is very cool, too. Is, uh, Gomez is trying to put all the power into the punches now. But he's making a mistake by creating punches for Sanchez, because he's not clear yet. That's right. That's a very good point, man. coming out of it. He got his bounce back. It looks pretty good on his leg. But again, he's not clear yet. You can see it in his eyes. Sanchez looks very good. He looks confident. It looks like he's trying to take a shot, but go master punch. To the body, but Sanchez is throwing three or four punches at a time. Makes the guy hard for Gomez to, to get in there. Gomez looks a little slow, but he's very comfortable. to get a little bit clear. They were real glassy before this point. It's starting to come back a bit. Yes, it is. But Sanchez is not really doing anything. He's just bouncing on his toes. But if I was Sanchez, I'd have kept using the jab, trying to set him up in the right hand. He's going to get off again. I think he made a, a, you know, he did a lot to come back and he's uh, trying and uh, I think he's making a mistake by trying to, to get inside and try punches with uh, someone who's not clear-headed. But uh, he did well. He got in there and he uh, tried to come back. He said that was a close round. I would, I would call it an even round. Here we are. There's Gomez again putting the pressure on. I think he gets tagged in the middle of this flurry again. Oh, Gomez gets through with a good left. There's the right hand that kind of shook him up again. That just takes good punches, and he does not change the expression every time he gets hit. 
Well, a surprisingly fast start to uh, something we didn't expect here. But coming up to round number three, Salvador Sanchez had Rofredo Gomez on the campus in round one. Surprising us all, and it took all the courage and, and guts that Gomez had to get through round one, and we're up to round three now. What I think Gomez should do is fight Sanchez, not try to box him. Sanchez is a much better boxer than Gomez. Right. We've seen it. That's what got him in trouble the first time, trying to box him. So Gomez should stay there and try to get inside and put the pressure on him and uh, wear him down inside. Fast pace, fight for 15. Now you wonder how they're going to keep it up. And we know that San uh, Sanchez can go 15 rounds, but Gomez having ripped 15 rounds in so long, so that might be the factor in the fight also. Sanchez that no matter what happens, no change in expression. No change. You just don't even bother. It seems like you take a punch. It's just a steel face. No bother at all. He's a, he's a very good boxer. He's moving, he's circling well. And uh, that's what he got to do for 50 rounds. I think they keep it tight. Good punch by Sanchez again. I get that punch. I would say get up, get inside up. of Sanchez's guard and work the midsection to try to come up with combination. But again, uh, Sanchez is a good fighter inside the set. Gomez is off balance that time. It wasn't really a fight. Every time Gomez is trying to pressure Sanchez like that, he's got himself in trouble on Yes. Gomez has got warrant for using an elbow inside. Off of Gomez, wait for Gomez to punch and then he's down. So this, Gomez got to be very careful. Man, it's good enough for me. That's good enough for me, man. I don't think that's just the one that's going to be in the first one for Gomez. He should circle out and get out of there. Give Gomez a chance to find him. He's a great puncher with him. Carlos, the pace has been unbelievable. And that's why right. I can't believe this. This goes 15 this way. It's going to be unbelievable. It's a tremendous condition on both, on both athletes. Well, Plato continues to come on. He won't, he won't stay back and catch any uh, breather at all. He keeps coming on. I think he'll make the settle down. He's got the bad punch. Settle down a little more, and he'll start firing his punch with that right hand after the jab. He's shooting the right hand over the head. You two fellas again to help me score that round. It was kind of, you know, there were the signs with Sanchez looked good, but Gomez got his share of punches in there and was very aggressive in that round. I call it an even round myself. That's right. Because both fighters were scoring punches. Uh, Sanchez was countering and Gomez was in working inside. I feel very, very uh, close round and I wouldn't want to call that round. I was showing you that shot that Larry talked about where Gomez looked like he was going down, but it was more of a slip. He was kind of moving towards his left and yeah, just kind of slipped as he was backing right. away. It was more of a slip. He was off balance. Here it is at a different angle now. Same same series. Well, they never start swinging, that's for sure. Here we go, round four, the WBC featherweight championship. Sanchez, the champion in blue, Gomez, the challenger, former world super bantamweight champ, in red, white, and blue. Gomez has a really nasty rope coming up under his right eye. The first round, uh, Sanchez gave him a really good beat in that first round, and uh, I still don't see how Gomez survived it and still come back to fight like he's going now. So there's a lot of ability, a lot of determination. Folks watching at home can see that weld coming up that Carlos Palomino was talking about on the right eye of Wilfredo Gomez. So 
for the high fight in the gas pocket from the underneath the high. And uh, Logan is underneath the high, uh, the rough will let it go. Go back to start the weight, I see. You try to counter over uh, Sanchez getting jab, but Sanchez got a fast jab. And you cannot wait for the counter. You just got to keep going and do your own thing. Down just a bit this round. Good, good punch by Sanchez. Perfect right hand, man. Sanchez is a very good boxer. He can keep his hands out, he can stay out of the way from the big punches. He's doing a good job of moving out and staying out of the way of uh, Gomez Power. Uh, so Ross Sanchez, one of the, I say one of the best, he's got a terrific guy, he's a terrific boxer. He knows what's happening at all times. Well, I got to lean a little bit towards the boxer because myself, I'm a boxer. And uh, Sanchez is doing a good job of boxing. And the Gomez is more than Joe Frazier type coming in, throwing punches. And it's just, it's just Sanchez is his, his movement, his boxing ability going, I think he might be able to pull this fight out. Again, we're in round four. Wilfredo Gomez was down in the first round and barely survived it and has come back since then. Good right hand by Gomez. Good right hand by Sanchez. Left hand by Sanchez. These guys are trading punches. Gomez is trying to tee out on him. I don't like it when Sanchez in that corner like that. Because I know that Gomez got a foul punch and he, and he hits good. Again, Sanchez hits good. But maybe he knows something I don't know about him. Every time he's getting that corner, Sanchez has come out the window. That's the bell. Ending round number four. Uh, some looks at each other there. A couple of punches after the bell and, uh, you know, uh, Gomez was doing some tremendous scoring underneath there in that corner. Uh, I saw him throwing some very good body punches. And we go to the corner of Gomez once again. You can see them putting the ice and uh, working on that eye. And he still looks tremendously exhausted to me. Yes, uh, his punch still affect him a little bit. But he's fighting, you know, that's just again a sign of a true champion to come out after the first kind of knockdown and do all of this. Uh, Larry, that's, that's not actually ice. Uh, here's the flurry right after the bell. That round, uh, I give that round myself to Gomez because Sanchez was standing in the corner and uh, for a few seconds, Gomez was throwing a lot of punches and, and Sanchez didn't do anything back. So I think uh, uh, Gomez won that round, Bobby. On the aggressiveness, right, yeah. we'll all give it to Gomez, I think. Here we go, round number five. The eye is the most completely shut now. Bobby, I think we've got a good fight here. 
turned out to be a very, very interesting fight after that first round knockdown. Sanchez over to Gomez Jack. Gomez almost appears to have got a second win. Yes, he did. He's he right there in front of him and he keeps him on the rope. Not enough hook to hit Sanchez with. Sanchez shouldn't take no punches. He shouldn't be on no rope. Now you can see clearly that uh, Gomez has plenty of vision with that right eye. That's right. And he hits Sanchez inside. I can hear the punches, and I can feel them. We're going back down on our benches. Gomez was hurt that round again. Looked like he was ready to go and the bell sounded. His eyes in bad shape too. All right, we'll show you some more of that action from the right corner hand. now. When Sanchez really came on the rebound. Yeah, that one punch that he hit Gomez with, the one that hurt him, all the rest of them didn't land really. Just that oh. one shot. But Sanchez getting tagged a few times. Yeah, but Sanchez <laughs> is getting tagged, but he's not showing hurt. Gomez is showing hurt. That's not a good sign. So the, other, the left eye is showing some, some damages now. It's, it's taking a bruise and bruising punches. I don't see this fight going about a couple more rounds. If Sanchez come out and start boxing, putting combinations together, I feel that he will stop Gomez. But, uh, Gomez again shows you all the determination the second round, the first round, and the last round that he's able to stay got stand on. The sign of a true champion is one who can get off the canvas and uh, come back and win a fight. And that's uh, going to take all the courage in the world for Wilfredo Gomez. And he's certainly shown us one thing, he has the heart of a champion no matter what happens to That's right. Sanchez he got hit with punches like that there. Right there and uh, he shows a little sign. Maybe Gomez is starting to hurt a little bit now. But we know that every time Sanchez lands a punch on Gomez, he's hurting because Gomez is cut under the eye. Both eyes are starting to bump up and uh, Gomez is really seems like he's in trouble. Right in the corner. Sanchez is starting to box out of it now, but he got hit with a left hook while he was uh, coming out of that corner. Shots and that eye is in bad shape. He keeps coming. 
Little man that took him a lot of shots. He showed you that he's a man, he's a champion, and uh, he, he's willing to give up his title to come up and wait for that to show the people around the world that he's a champion. So we have nothing to shame here because he's on a heck of a job, and I don't count this man out yet because he's got a lot going for himself. It seems like the rounds are faster than three minutes to us because there's so much action in them. That's right. I'm excited, Bob. I'm <laughs> glad I'm here to be able to watch it as close as I'm watching it and to be able to call it around Thomas. the world and to let the people know throughout the world that we're watching two great gladiators and Sanchez and Gomez and it's a chance that one of these fighters have to lose. That's right. These two guys are tremendous athletes and I see there's a, you know, Gomez is going to have a lot of problems because he's, the, both guys are beginning to really close now. He's going to have problems seeing out of both these eyes. Like this in any day of the Sanchez is very cool, he's, he's very calm and collected and very significant battle, you know. Uh, Sanchez is starting to box a little bit more. He's, he's out on his toes, he's circling. Even Gomez is doing the same thing to try to draw him in. Now he's back. I think it's not good for Gomez to back up there. Good punches by Sanchez that time. Sanchez worked downstairs for the first time and uh, taking a little bit of that wind out of Gomez. That's the first time Gomez has been on the ropes like this. It's the first round. Gomez's legs are still rubbery. They Very well, man. Even when Sanchez throw a punch, he don't make a, uh, he don't even change, I mean, Sanchez throw a punch, he don't even change the expression. And when he takes one, he don't change the expression. Yeah. All business. Gonna, all business. Oh, 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 oh. get on the ropes, he's vulnerable for those punches, and Gomez wants them up there. Good punches by Gomez that time. Double the, double the right hand up on the rope. That's right. It's the aggressor is still, he's changed now. He's got him with another right hand. See, he's on the no ropes, and that's where it's going to take, take a toll with him. He's going to take a toll that way. Gomez's legs really shook that time. You can see his jaw almost quivering. That's right. Gomez is really a determined fighter. He, he keeps pressing the action all the way. Keep pressing the action. He's taking punches from Sanchez and throwing the goal from him. Been in his punch. Maybe he did that for a reason to land a big one, but he slowed down that round in his punch. The end of round number seven. Another strong round for Sanchez. John King puts a lot of good fights together. Well, this is the he couldn't put a better fight together than Sanchez and Gomez. Wow. Talking about Wilfredo Gomez uh, is uh, kind of expecting a new addition to his family. He was hoping to have the title. Yeah, this would be a, a great surprise 
for his new son or, or daughter, whatever, to go mask and win this title. And I'm sure when the son grows up or daughter grows up, they will really have something to talk about. Yeah, that would be some... Watch this exchange now. There we are. Some great punching going on. See that uh, crisp right hand, though? Uh, Gomez scored a couple of punches, but with Sanchez, it really had the power behind it. That's right. It, when, whenever Sanchez lands, Gomez usually takes a step backwards and he feels it. Well, as you look at both corners, you can see just in the uh, facial expression of the two of them which man is out in front of the fight. But again, we can't say enough for Wilfredo Gomez for his staying power and the courage that he's had throughout this fight. He's very rubbery leg and he's very shaky. Okay. Sanchez is on target. Gomez looks like he's been through a war. He's still fighting hard. He's still fighting hard. I feel that Gomez wants to try to go for blows because he knows his eyes are swollen up on him and he wants Sanchez in the corner so he can shoot all he got. Gomez is trying to counter over the, uh, the jab of Sanchez and it's, it's something to see because Gomez's eyes are closed and he's trying to, trying to counter a, a right hand over the jab. That's right. He's, he's really have to, has to concentrate right now. You see, because his, you know, like his eyes are two little slits. But he's trying. I know he wants to get the big one in to get Sanchez out of there. Gomez got hit with a, a right on the counter that time. Three good shots to the body by Sanchez. Three straight left hooks to the body by Sanchez. Or Three good left hooks to the body, and, and Gomez didn't try to do anything about it. So right. Sanchez shows you again, he got confidence. It is a very, very good fight. Tough fight tonight here at Caesar's Palace. The pace that you folks are seeing right now, it's been like this on the opening bell. That's right. I tell you, the fans are getting their money's worth this one. Again, they're taking great attention. Gomez is on the rope. He's cut under the nose again. He's hurt. He's hurt. Gomez is hurt. Oh, he's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. up the three. It's four. I don't know if Gomez can Gomez make it. won't get up. He's hurt. I don't think he can make it. He won't make five. it. He's up. He can't see the rest of the That's it. That's it. That is he over. the fight. Referee Carlos Padilla stops the fight in the eighth round. A TKO win in the eighth round for Salvador Sanchez, who retains the WBC World Featherweight Championship. Of the eighth round, the winner 
And still, featherweight the champion record. of the world, Eva Invico, la Salvador Sanchez. Y le demostré que no se abre abajo en el último rival. No se sorprendió el primer round. Siempre soy ya demostrado que se habla mejor con los puños que con la...